Today we're going to talk about engine noise and when we do the troubleshooting trees, first off you assume nothing. That can get you into a lot of trouble, you'll miss things. And the other thing is, do the simplest things first. You want to check the belt and see that if it's loose, then you're going to make an adjustment and recheck to see if the noise is present or if it has gone away. The belts are located in the front of the engine. They drive various things such as fan hubs, alternators, power steering pumps, air conditioning pumps. There may be one belt or there may be as many as six belts. It can be any one or it could be a combination of more than one contributing to this noise. First off, you want to check to see if they're adjusted right. If they're too loose, they can actually slap, making a ticking sound. If they are all good and tight, you know, almost like a violin string, then uh, it's not, a, not the uh, tension of the belt that's making the noise. Now it could be the condition of the belt. That being said, the condition would be such things as if there are pieces missing, there's actually chunks that are, are gone away from the belt, or if they're dry and cracked. When they're making their rotation around a pulley, the missing piece or the crack that's in the belt can actually make an audible noise that you hear as it's rotating around that pulley, so it'll make that noise. When you make an adjustment, you want to restart the engine, if the belt were loose, let's say, and uh, see if the noise is gone or if it's still there. If the noise is gone, you've resolved the, no the problem. If the noise is still present, then is when you want to check the condition to make sure that there aren't any pieces missing or that it's cracked. If there are cracks in and pieces missing, then you want to replace the belt or belts and then restart it and see if the noise goes away. If it does, then you've resolved the, the uh, source of the noise. If the noise is still there, then most likely the belt was not the problem. So then the next thing you want to check into is the valve train.